Hello and welcome back to SMT5. It's time for us to go and speak to Bethel and, well, face the consequences of our actions. So, let's do that. Now, I assume when it said to go speak to Bethel, that Bethel is currently in one of these two places. I mean, it's not entirely clear actually as to where we need to go because we have no quest objective currently. Oh, there is somebody we need to talk to, although apparently down the hill. There's actually a couple of people we could talk to now. Interesting. Uh, but we're going to do that later because we have to go all around the map anyway. Let's go to the terminal room and hopefully this will lead us to something. Maybe? I'm basically just guessing. So then if I go from here to like this way. Nope, that's not somewhere we can go. So if I leave the terminal room and go this way. All right, no, this is the wrong. This is the wrong one entirely. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the wrong building. Right, let's go. Obviously, to Tokyo. Completely different building. Definitely doesn't look exactly the same. Right. This should be the right building. There we go. Good work, everyone. Let's go reporting. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's just go. Well done on defeating Lamu. Your efforts have not been in vain. Yeah, have we told you the bad news yet? But Isonokami. Her death is indeed tragic, and certainly a setback for Bethel. Humanity will mourn the loss of their saint. And then there's Itsukishima. Ah, yes. The student whom Lamu targeted. Another regrettable tragedy. That reminds me. Right at the bitter end, Lamu mentioned something about recreating the world. Yeah, he did say that. And I was thinking that's awfully similar to something that got repeatedly talked about in 3... And it would involve powerful demons having to merge with humans. And I was kind of going, there's a lot of similar themes here. Not only that, but he wanted to become a Nahobino. Do you have any idea what that means? Yes. Well, perhaps the time is right to inform you. Eons ago, the gods were gifted with both eternal life and the knowledge of good and evil. In those days... They were known as Nahobino. However, the creator ordered the forfeiture of Nahobino's knowledge. Thenceforth, they regressed into demons. Lamu is one such demon. It is likely he intended to reclaim his knowledge and assert power as a Nahobino once more. But what does any of that have to do with Itsukishima? Well, you see, the creator sealed the demon's knowledge within the Garden of Paradise inside a forbidden tree. Uh-huh. But then came a serpent who tempted the garden's inhabitants to eat of the tree's fruit and thus consume its knowledge. From then on, that knowledge was bound to the human soul and is still passed down throughout the generations, or so the tale is told. Thus, we can conclude Itsukishima had inherited such knowledge. Does this mean that the knowledge of all those lost gods is flowing through us too? It is very well possible. In any case, the demons of then and now yearn to reclaim what was lost, and so seek human souls. Yet the union of man and demon remains prohibited. Why is that? Because those who bear knowledge, namely a Nahobino, pose a threat to God's established order. I can see why you might have an issue with us then. Specifically, they have the potential to recreate the world. So, if I have this right, Lamu attempted to retake his knowledge in order to destroy the current system? That is correct. Then if that's true, wouldn't that mean his existence as an Ahobino is also a threat to God's order? Yeah, yeah, you didn't really need to bring that up. We could have just ignored that. Hmm. I would like to explore that matter further with you. Alas, the day has grown late. We'll save it for another time. 
For now, return to your quarters, and get some well-earned rest. Understood. We'll do just that. Hey, uh, Atsuta? Uh, both of you. You guys down to meet me on the roof later? Um, sure? Hello. Hmm. I had an inkling when you returned with Awagami, but it seems I was right. The condemnation has been lifted after all, then. But we can go into that some other time. For now, I'd say you'd earn some rest back at your dorm, hmm? Okay. Well, I'll leave you be. Let's uh, see if anyone new downstairs has dialogue, I guess? Nobody does? Well, it's time to leave. Yeah. We'll just move on. Okay. It does seem a little odd, right, in this game where it's like... You were just fighting somebody who's literally a god. Now it's time for you to go to your uh, dorm room. You need some rest. It's just a bit of an odd pacing thing. I mean, I get it. And they did it in Persona as well. It's just, it's just you know, it's always very odd. It's like... Well, you know, you, you might have just been destroying demons and gods and all that, but hey, you're still a teenager. You know, t t just give it a rest. Anyway, hello. Did you know that there's a renowned research lab nearby? Sometimes I could swear that I'm seeing these people with wings fly off from around there. I must really be overworking myself. Hello. Hee ho! I'm kind of liking this place, ho. Tons of de delicious food, ho. Tiramisu shaved ice is so fluffy, ho. You know, I thought that we were safe from the he-hos here. Turns out the he-hos are here as well. The government higher-ups are currently debating whether to formally put the city under martial law. One side wants to lock everything down and wipe the demons out, but the other wants to play it defensive, keeping the public from panicking. Cool. Alright. Just going to continue doing our sweep of the city here. Hello. Sometimes, I feel like I can't really make out the faces of my teachers anymore. Same with some of the third years, too. So they don't actually exist, or maybe they never existed? Um, sorry, I don't really know how to explain the feeling. Okay. That's interesting because we can't see the faces of pretty much anyone. Does that mean everybody who we can't see the face of doesn't exist? That's interesting. Okay. Hello. Maybe for to uh, tomorrow's run, I'll take on that hill over in Itabashi. Okay. Is that a hint as to what our next area is? You know what I really think? My theory is that our current Prime Minister is an alien. Well, not like that'll fly on the Sunday morning talk shows. I'll keep that one in my pocket for the end of the year TV specials. Okay, sure. Alien? You're not that far off, really. No, nothing along there? Hello. Uh, back when I was a rookie, Sergeant Yakumo had me under his wing for a while. He was always kind to others, but hard on himself. But that's what got him in the end. Someone took advantage of his kindness and, well, now he's dead. Okay. Nothing over here. Can I head back into the temple? That'd be interesting. I can. Okay, is there anything here or is it just on fire? Oh, there's like a whole lot here. Oh, I'm happy I came in. Okay. Hello. <gasps> I'm so bored. <sighs> Everything feels so empty lately. Uh, this is worrying. Hmm. Our Prime Minister well. really knows what he's doing, especially compared to the last politicians we had running the show. He's passing all kinds of great measures, stuff that would never make it through under the last administration. He's a real pro, I tell you. <laughs> the patriotism isn't just lip service. You can tell in his speeches that the PM really, truly wants to help Japan. Can't help but root for a guy like that. Hello. 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 There we go. Yes. Hello there. Jozo's a uh, Jozo's 
Jeez, uh, quite impressive, uh, quite an impressive temple, don't you think? Took me far too long to say the name correctly. Hello. Yoo-hoo! Oh, hey there! Hmm. Oh, we've never actually talked, but I've seen you with Miyazu and the others a lot. I'm actually in the same class as Miyazu. So... I haven't seen Miyazu since that whole instant at school, but is she doing okay? Okay. And then, at the end, we have this guy. Hmm. So this Lamu has been slain, though not without sacrifice. That must have been a painful experience. I should tell you. Upon investigation, I discovered that the demon Lamu was a Babylonian god, and he witnessed firsthand the fall of the previous ruler, Baal, at the hands of the creator. Naturally, this means he was very old, which would explain how he knew of the Nahobino. Having learned that the creator was defeated by the Lord of Chaos, he must have started preparing his return. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten the creator was defeated by the Lord of Chaos. Which, of course, I should have remembered because, once again, it was a plot point from 3. <laughs> um, can we go up anywhere? No, stairs don't exist in this area. I'm just seeing if there's anything like hidden at the side. I don't think there is. Anything going on with what I assume are graves here? No. Doesn't appear to be anything going on. Okay. Well, we'll leave. Okay, so... Now where to go? So I'm guessing, yeah, that's... Because the creator's been slain, right? And he was the one who was stopping all the Nahabino existing. Because the creator's been slain, that's what allows our character to exist in its current form because our character um, is a Nahobino. Okay. So, yeah, that all, all lines up currently. Hello. Seems like the demons have more corporeal pre have more corporeal presence in this world, so we thought normal weapons might work against them. But we're seeing demons everywhere, and our machine guns, even our anti-tank artillery, doesn't do a damn thing to them. This might be where it all ends for us. Yeah, that's not a good uh, thing to hear. Alright. Hello. Oh, hello. Get right up next to them. You know, our Prime Minister, he's the one who pulled our country out of that recession, too. He really is the best leader we could hope for. But aside from his accomplishments, we barely know anything about him. No college record, no past. And he's so young. Weird, right? Yeah, weird. Uh, huh? Now the local high school is closed up. What the hell is going on? Hello. The other day, I was attacked by this weird creature that came out of the tunnel. But then, this high schooler with glasses, one of the kids I'd seen around, he saved me. At the time, I was too freaked out to do anything but run. I mean, he had a monster of his own, but I wish I'd thanked him properly. Okay, so that person's seen a, a demon is just like, just a thing that's happening. Just gonna have to deal with it. Alright, can't go down there. Uh, anyone else down here? Yep. Hello. Our company moved recently and now we've got our own employee cafeteria. I'm so happy for you. A banquet hall for warriors of the workplace. A tavern to sate hungry bellies and minds. Is somebody really trying to push uh, Atlas to build an employee cafeteria? This is their, their attempt. They're like, if I put somebody in the game who really wants one, maybe they'll see that we should have one too. There are a lot of coastal places around here, but English words like seaside and port just add that touch of nautical flair, huh? Okay, if you say so. Um, anything along here? There's our high school, can we go in? The school is closed. Oh, well, that's fair. Right, let's go this way. You. Alright, we have you next. Who are you? Looks like school's cancelled for a while. Even when it starts up again, most of the classes will be held online. Yep, sounds familiar. The atmosphere in the dorm is so gloomy. Maybe I should just go back home. Right. Um, nothing over there. I think we've spoken to everyone. Right. Into the dorm. There we go. For our rooftop, a rooftop talk.
Oh, and Awakami's here. Yeah, so I don't really get all that knowledge or recreating the world stuff. Basically, you merge with a powerful demon, and then together you get to decide how the world's going to be from now on. I believe that's generally the concept, assuming it's the same. All I care about is what we could have done different. To save Itsukishima. You're the smart guy here. What do you think? Hmm. We might have been able to step in had we known about our situation earlier. Maybe been more involved. Ultimately, Lamu preyed on her fears and took advantage of her pain. At that point, she was too vulnerable to resist. See, I'm just seeing how these words are going to be corrupted. If they follow the same route where all of your companions are going to be like, you know, pressing to recreate the world. I'm just imagining Dazai hearing this and going, Ah, so if nobody ever has pain again, then, you know, this will never happen. And then he goes off to recreate the world in his horrible image. <sighs> the whole reason I had the demon summoning program was to prevent something like this. Yet in the end, I was powerless. That's not true. You're amazing, Atsuta. And tough as nails, too. You and your sis. I'm sorry? Uh, look, even I know how much work it takes to walk the right path. Not to mention strength. That's why I want to be strong, like you. And if I can fight on your level, no one else will have to suffer like this again. So let's move forward. That way our friends can rest a little easier, knowing they've been avenged. You're right, Dazai. And you know what? You might be stronger than you think. So, what do you make of their conversation? Hmm. I could always use more strength or hard to say. I think we'll say hard to say here. It is indeed. But don't forget, you have the protofiend of Bethel at your disposal. I will support you at all costs. Regardless of what goals you may have, I will see to it that they are fulfilled. This I swear. Okay then. Thanks for the support, big guy. Good morning, everyone. We've just received word from Bethel's inner council. It falls to me to relay their message. You did us a great service in destroying Lamu. However, our superiors are taking the demonic incursion very seriously. To leave such audacity unpunished would only invite further demonic offense. They aim to hit the forces of chaos with everything they have. They want a full-on assault. More specifically, an attack driven by our finest agents from across Bethel's international reach. That said, as Bethel Japan, we are not assigned to this operation. What? Why not? The last operation took quite a toll on our forces. Enough that we now have to rely on, no offense meant, amateurs and juveniles. To put it bluntly, HQ has judged our remaining strength and found us wanting. It's true that we aren't the most powerful. But we should be on the front lines in the fight against chaos. Tokyo is our city, and it's our duty to protect it. Yeah, I... I think he's right. Frankly, so do I. Which is why our current plan is to join the operation, despite our orders, or lack thereof. Awesome! You and Dazai, your assignment is to cover the Tokyo Diet Building in the Netherworld. There's an underground passage nearby, connected to Chuo City. You will infiltrate by way of that passage and defeat the Demon King. Oh, just that simple. Yes, sir. Yuzuru Atsuta, I have something a little different in mind for you. Stay after the meeting and I'll explain. Uh, of course, sir. Yes, we're splitting up for this one. But let's give it all we've got! As of now, consider yourself deployed. Head to your mission. So, Dazai's with us. What do you reckon? Is he gonna die? Or, alternatively, is he gonna turn evil? It's one or the other. 
I, I can just feel it in my bones. There's no way this just becomes a nice happy mission where we all get to go off into the sunset. Look out for yourself. Yuzuru A Atsuta will be on standby. I understand this place is a burden on you and Ichiro Dazai, but I firmly believe you two can handle it. Hello. <laughs> so the honor student's not coming along this time, huh? Guess it's all up to you and me. Whoa, let's do this. Hello. Take care. Looks like I'll be staying behind. It'll just be you and Dazai from here on, so be careful. Mm. Still, I wonder why Director Koshimizu wants to see me. Good question. Good question. Wish I had an answer for you. But I don't. Uh, we had somebody around here? Yeah. Do you mind? The angelic army was originally led by four seraphim, but it seems they were all slain in battle. I heard that's why Master um, Abdiel took command after the seraph um, Michael failed or fell. <laughs> Ever since then, Master Abdiel has been the highest authority over the angelic army of Bethel HQ. Hello. Yes. I've heard Japan's integration into Bethel. I mean, way back when the myriad gods were still around, went relatively smoothly. Then again, the Kunitsu Kami weren't too happy about uh, the Amatsu Kami making that call. Even directly rebelled against them from time to time. Okay, I understood some of those words. Um. You know, it's funny, your partner Awagami kind of looks like director uh, Koshimizu, doesn't he? Hmm, well, Awagami's a proto-fiend, so I suppose weirder coincidences happen. Yeah, you're not the first person to have mentioned that, although it might have been you previously I as well. I'm surprised you had nothing to say when we received our current mission. I'm a silent protagonist. What do you want from me? Um, we ought to do our part. I see. I'm glad to see your own goals are aligned with Bethel's. When one's personal will and their organization's goals are in conflict, I imagine it could cause great strife. It would be best for you to avoid such an experience. Just know there's no need for you to ever hold back your thoughts from me. No matter how you may feel, you can always trust me. With that said, let us move on to our mission with haste. Is Awagami evil? Is that what we're getting at here? Because he definitely just said, you know, Whatever, even, you know, you can tell me anything. You know, even if you don't believe in Bethel, you can tell me anything. That That's, that's the sound of somebody who's like, well, you know, I'm not evil. But if you were evil, well, you know, maybe, you know, we, we could do that. All right, Cadaver, what have you got? Ah, there he is. There I am. You got new things to buy? I'm assuming, oh, new things in two categories. So we have Spirit uh, Drain Gems. Okay, Weak Almighty MP Drain Attack to one foe. We don't really need those, but okay, cool. And then we get some new ones here. Akami's Essence. Uh, Koro Pokura's Essence. And Loa's Essence. Oh, and Mothman. And Basilisk. Okay, cool. Um, anything? We, I don't really know what those do, but if we ever need an Essence, I will come back to you. And I'm also going to sell all of these sell? just to make a little extra money. <laughs> Need anything else? This guy is still weird. Is he an I am nothing in the game has made him less weird. Alright. Uh, let me just check here. So diet building is where we need to go next. I kind of want to go around and talk to everybody you can be talked to. Yeah, there's somebody up here you can be talked to as well. Unless wait, is that the DLC quest or that's outside the diet building, so we could We'll, we'll, we'll go there after. Well, maybe. No, we'll go here now. That's fine. I don't think this is this guy's uh, related to our quest. So we'll go and have a little chat. Yeah, and see what see what see uh, you know what people are saying. There's probably people inside the diet building as well that we can speak to. So we'll we'll, we'll check them all out. Get all of our lore. Right. So we cross the bridge. And okay, who are you? Be careful. If you're heading to Cho, head down this incline and follow the subway line that runs under the diet building. 
Cool. So actually, that is the way forward. That's fine. And we're going to immediately leave here. Be like, see you later. Uh, we're going back to Shinagawa. So that we can then... I'm trying to work out how we get to this place. That's probably the easiest way. Yeah. I don't really know who we're speaking to here. Um, but there are a bunch of people with like little um, icons above their heads. So I want to just make sure we uh, get to them all. Somebody might give us an important clue. We'll see. I don't know why this game makes me so paranoid. I just realized I've accused pretty much everybody who's done nothing but be good to us of turning evil. Um, so, I might just be paranoid. That's the other option. Everybody might just be, you know, a completely good character and then that's it. Nah, that can't be it. Right. Down here. Grab a bunch of this, so we get a little bit more uh, Magatsuhi. Right, so run along here. They're not gonna bother us. Right, and then... We simply leap off to the side. Hello. That Lamu was all bark and no bite. I heard Bethel's demon totally annihilated him. If you ask me, all that stuff about finding a way to get stronger was nothing but a big fat lie. Okay. So we'll leave him be. So I assume that everyone is just going to be uh, talking about Lamu here. Giving their own personal opinion on him. Do things actually run away from us now? That's, that's a neat little feature. You know, like, if we're... St if... if um, yeah, they are running away from us. If... If we happen to be, um... Like, stronger, they'll run away. But if we're weaker, they'll chase us. It's kind of, uh... Yeah, I like it. Hello. So the great Lamu has fallen, has he? He went all the way to where the humans dwell, only to get himself killed. Okay, right. So it doesn't seem like there's any massive dialogue here. Uh, next one is... Oh, still in Shinagawa. Next one is here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go this way and then go backwards. This is just a much better uh, teleporter than the other one, to be honest with you. Right. So through here. Then... Uh, we want to go left from here. There we go. And it should be somewhere up here. I went the wrong way. Okay, never mind. It's actually this way. There we go. Uh, oh, this is the Oni, right? Yeah, hello. It seems Lamu has been slain. Could it be that demon hunter? Unlikely. Others said it was some demon they'd never seen before. Who could it be? Yeah, who could it be? Right, let's open our map. Who have we got next? Oh, across the bridge. Perfect. I love that there's just no music on the bridge. It's just so weird. Right. Hello. Yeah? Lama was an ancient god. So you could never have forgiven that the uh, young creator had taken the throne. This was likely a long-awaited opportunity for him, but well, haha. <laughs> okay. Map. Fairy village next. Uh, yes, fairy village. Where a ton of people will have things to say. But they might know that it was us who did it. So, they might have something new to say on top of all of this. Rather than just saying, Ah, Lama, you idiot. What are you doing? Hello. Yeah. You took down Lamu? That's amazing. But don't go in on any sort of rampage here, okay? Oh, they're just worried about us just slaughtering all of them. Well, they shouldn't be worried about that yet. Um, does this guy... Like, does his waterfall open? Yeah. I wait for one who is worthy to appear. Okay, no. Oh, wait. All the students are still here? Hmm. Zapler, are you okay? You look tired. Oh, right. Oh, I just noticed Tal's not with you. Wonder if she left already. 
Yeah, she she's gone to the farm. Hello. Not bad. So you've slain Lamu. Impressive that you were able to take down one as devious and powerful as he. Okay. Hello. <sighs> it's strange how calm and at ease I feel when I'm here. I even feel like my leg injury will just will I even feel like my leg injury will heal pretty quickly too. Yeah. I want to go home as soon as I can, but I'm going to focus on getting some rest for now. <laughs> we have the more seriously injured humans resting indoors, ho. Best to leave them be for now, ho. Okay, and then you? Yo. I want to, I want to go back if I can, but it's probably dangerous over there too, right? Um... I'm not sure. Hmm? But then you see all those demons at school? I'm thinking it's probably safer to hang here since we're being protected and all. Okay. And then that's everybody. That is indeed everybody we need to speak to. Didn't really get a ton of extra dialogue, but um, yeah. It's interesting to see that they're still hanging out here. I would guess if the school's shut, there's no real reason for them to come back immediately. Right. Go to the diet building and we'll go the correct way out here to get to where we need to go next. Hello. Oh. Bethel HQ closed off the underground of the diet building in order to prevent the Japanese branch from taking part. Luckily, that won't be a problem. Exit the diet building, then head towards the ley line fount. <sighs> head left at the uh, large rock out front, then make your way down the slope. Yes. Keep going, and eventually, you'll see some subway tracks. Following those will take you to Cho. Alright. Let's do a Chronicle Deeds here as well, because this seems like the right point to do one. And then, it's time to actually go outside again. Well, by outside I mean to the diet building, which is inside. But anyway. Oh, I guess this is when you're meant to find out about these quests, naturally. That's why they put them here. Is so that when you came back, you would be like, all right, there are these quests to do. Oh. And that's probably why the... What is it? The, oh, what's the name of the character? Artemis, is it? That's probably why her quest is um, like not that far off our level. Because it's the one that you're meant to do first, I would assume. Yeah, the goddess in training. Ew, it all makes sense now. That's the way that they position the DLC. Now, it still doesn't make sense that there is DLC that has, like, endgame uh, enemies in it, but now it makes a little bit more sense because you naturally head back through here in the story. Okay, that they all clicked together for me there. Right. So we spoke to this dude, so then we just go down here, which I don't think existed last time we were here. Alright. So I don't think it existed. Uh, nothing there. Then there's the uh, subway track. Oh, was there something blocking this previously? Maybe. Anyway. Let's move and have Dazai here. In a second. I'm assuming maybe a cutscene or maybe just a dialogue with Dazai being here and then we walk through the uh, the uh, subway. Maybe. Possibly. Bit of a loading. There we go. Alright, so it does still doesn't have Dazai with us necessarily. Wow. That's a large area that this... Uh... <laughs> This one has, uh, this abscess has. Oh, right. It, we don't actually go through the subway. It just, like, goes, you're at the other side. I like that better.
Emperor Abdiel forbade you all from joining this operation. If you truly wish to reach the castle, you can enter from a place called Tokyo Station. But know this, if you value your lives, you should turn back. The demons of this land are too great a threat for you. What, what an odd conversation with the uh, angel there. It's like, hey, you shouldn't be here. All right, well, if you're here, then, you know, if you really want to join in, go here. But don't do it. But if you do want to do it, you have to go to this location. But don't do it. Also, I mean, they're kind of there fighting. Sort of. <laughs> I think they're hit by the fact that animations don't trigger if you're this far away. So it's a little odd. Right. Ginza. Wait, we spent a lot of time in Ginza. In, uh, three. Hmm. Interesting. Looks very different. I feel the hee hee toe, but I need some fuel to keep on blazing bright. That's why I'm always on the hee hunt for more items, ho. I'm Jack-o'-lantern. Can you he help me with my search? Yeah. Hee ho, I'm looking for fire gems. I just need two of them, ho. Got any fire gems, ho? Share some, why don't you? Sure. Hee hee hooray! Burning that midnight oil, ho. Take this as a symbol of my hee ho thanks. Really? Alright, well we got a chakra drop. One. We got one chakra drop. That, that was your reward, is one chakra drop? You're the best, ho, but he honestly, I'm going to need more fire gems. Okay, no. Give me a singular chakra drop. I'm kind of mad about that, honestly. No. Are you from the Japanese branch? The demons of the other divisions are cooperating to vanquish the forces of chaos. Oh, okay. It's me, man, number 100. Hello. Desolate out here. How come? Feeling in the heart, like lost my home. Eight glory for these guys now. Nice. Oh! Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Hello. The fog, the fog is so thick you can't even see. I can fly though, so I'll be okay. You might have it tough. If you don't want to get lost, you should probably stick to higher elevations if you can. I guess checking your map a lot might help. Okay. Well, I didn't really want to come down here. Uh, let's head this way. Although, like, the fog's not really that big of an no, issue. No. Um, right, run away from these guys. Cool. Oh, another me man. Hello. This place worse off than other da'at, yeah? Intense fighting here, gotta be. Cool. Massive Black Frost. Okay. Hello. You okay there? I'm so close, just a little more, ho. You there, hey, hear me out, ho. I am Black Frost, the one and only Emperor of Ginza. I'm not lying. I may not, hey, ho, look it, but I used to be the Emperor of Capuchico, ho. Direct link between three and five again. So Black Frost was a demon that you defeated at the end of uh, Capuchico prison. Um, on a second run through. That's interesting. But then this demon, he had to come and bust up my turf. It was he horrible. <laughs> so then I decided to be the emperor of Ginza, ho. I read this man I read this manga that 
Uh, he human wrote, king of me something. So I know exactly he how to do it. Wanna hear the plan, ho? To become an emperor, you need wealth, ho. First you loan money to the poor demons. Then you cash in on the super he he high interest rates, ho. You might be wondering what to do with all of that maca. But this is Ginza, ho. You gotta run a bunch of he high end clubs, ho, of course. Then you gotta he hook some rich folks by showing them a good time. That's when the maca starts pouring in, ho. All that is so far so good in Black Frost, the Lone Shark's master plan, ho. But there is just one he ho problem. A he high end club needs he high end alcohol. But this guy Dionysus controls the whole circulation of alcohol in Ginza, ho. At this rate, I'll never get the stuff I need to serve my customers, ho. I'm so close to becoming an emperor, I can he ho taste it. Please, ho, you he have to get rid of Dionysus so I can get what I need. Thank you, ho. He hurry and take out Dionysus as fast as you can. Can you see it, ho? Is he hiding in that building over in Tsukiyabashi? He doesn't really look like he's hiding. It kind of looks like he's just standing there. If you succeed, you and I can he have a drink. Best of luck to you, ho. Goodbye. Right. Um, so yeah, that, that was a couple of direct links to 3 again. Because it directly referenced an area from 3, but more directly referenced the um, the Demi Fiend from 3. That That's interesting. Now, of course, the Demi Fiend is canonically in this game because of the DLC, but... Yeah. It's interesting to see how much they connect the rest of it. Also, 15,000 Maka to sit in there. Also, we're level 36, aren't we? And uh, I believe that a Lamia is level 36. So we're actually level 37. I should go get an Elagor. Right. Hello. Wait, did I make one of these? I might have made one of these. I just made one of these. Okay. Never mind. Uh, there's no reason to be fighting them. But hey, we'll kill them. Because we happen to be here already. One of those. Uh, one of those. That's fine. King Frost still uh, getting both. There was a uh, miss there. Wow, that's not good. Intense, isn't it? I guess that he might need uh, some higher agility, if possible. Not that we have any way of really controlling that. Right. Oh, you're almost dead. Parvati. Locked out of using skills, so we'll just attack. And then attack. Really? Alright, attack. Hey! Lamia got a level up. And we get resist dark from that. We want to take resist dark so we can pass it to other people, which means we're going to get rid of Makajama. Cool. Right, uh, we had no reason to do that. Although, now having realized we're level 37, um... We're going to Ley Line Crossing immediately away from where we are. Back to... Back to... This one. Conan's second block. Because if we go here, we can then go and get ourselves an Elagor. Because we've already done the dialogue for it. So we might as well just grab the demon. It seems like an easy thing to do. Right. So back here. Uh, it's up this way, was it? Yeah, it was this way. Then we stand here. Got ya. Did we get to go first? Fantastic. Started talking to the demon. We meet again, warrior of low standing. 
I trust you have grown since then. <laughs> yes, now I may enter your service. I am Fallen Eligor. I shall follow you. Cool. Easiest recruiting we've ever done. Right. Uh, new quest? Oh, maybe there's a previous quest that we had something in that we can now... Yeah, okay. Because we finished this one without looking at it. That's fine. Analyze. So if we find one in the wild, he'll have Dark Sword, which is two medium attacks that inflict seal, and two to four weak physical attacks to random foes, chance of inflicting poison. Then, if we have a look at the one in the party, we'll see that we have the same abilities, except he's going to learn Agilal, Restore, and uh, Masuku Kaja. And then, Lorewise, one of the 72 demons of the Goetia, he takes the appearance of a knight and has the power to see things come. He also possesses great knowledge of many wars. Okay, his strength stats seemed pretty good. So, that, that's all. That, that's the only takeaway I got from that situation. In the ley line crossing back over to Chioda here. And, uh, yeah, then we might have a quick look. Just a little look at World of Shadows, potentially. Yeah, that, that, that seems sensible. It's kind of the right time, because we are level 37, so we might have another one here. If we don't, that's that's actually perfect, because then we've filled up our party and we don't have anything to recruit, but it doesn't seem like it'll be quite that straightforward. Welcome to... Yeah, the World of Shadows, Demons Gather. Oh, we have a new special fusion now. Oh, okay. So it's an unknown snake plus Fornius and Black Ooze. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we can do a special fusion for Hellbiker. Awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, and a special fusion for this one. Okay. We've actually got quite a lot to do. Um, what was I going to do first? Oh yeah, Demon Compendium. Register. Are you ready? So we got two special ones to do. We have a look at Reverse Compendium. Uh, we'll see that we have nothing, we have no normal ones, so two special. Okay. But neither of the special use a demon that's actually in our party. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> the reason why that's particularly annoying is it means that we can't currently fuse them. Which because we have no space. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, are there any in our party I want to get rid of? Potentially. Uh, we can't get rid of Baphomet, but we could get rid of Lamia and Nekomata. There's no reason to keep them. Um... Lamy is fully done, and we just, yeah, and we just uh, lock them in, so that seems fine. Let's get rid of Lamy and Nekomata. I don't think we need either of them. Yeah, and then Lamia. Although I don't have money for both of them. Wait, I don't have money for both of the uh, special fusions. No, let's not get rid of them just yet. Until we actually have money for both of them. I could go and capture a demon as well Welcome to make her a special fusion, I suppose. Um, we don't need to. I was thinking I could go and capture like one of these guys. That would probably help us out a little bit. Hellbiker costs so much more. Why? It's because Kelpie costs a ridiculous amount. Okay. Um, let's make this one then. He's slightly cheaper. Uh, so that's Kuropakur. Azumi and Kaya Nohimi makes us a Sukuna Hikona. Okay. Which is what? Oh! I thought it was some kind of bird thing, but it's actually a guy in a boat. Okay. So, reasonably even stats. He has Eternal Blizzard, which is 3 to 6 weak ice attacks. Medium physical attack, which crits. Raises attack of all allies. Okay. So he doesn't need raise attack of one ally. Lower defense of one foe seems useful. Then he he likes his ice attacks. He doesn't need this one. Necessarily. Eternal Blizzard is fine. But 
we might as well give him a medium ice attack and then can't give him harvest dance we could give him a heal probably just mabufula and with the expectation we're going to replace it or replace eternal blizzard one or the other decreases chance of insta kill and being affected with ailments hmm. interesting uh right we'll go with that lore one of the gods of Japanese lore, uh, son of Kami Musubi, he was so small that he fell through her fingers at birth. Though he would normally be counted among the Amatsukami, he became blood brothers with Okuninushi and is now considered a Kunitsukami. After building Japan with Okuninushi, he is said to have returned to, to uh, Tokyo no Kuni, the land of eternity. All right. Is this demon to your liking? Sure. Awesome. Uh, I'm thinking we can actually make Hellbiker if I go and get a Kelpie. We'll have enough. All right, I'll go get Kelpie. That's fine. Right, so, um... Let's get rid of Lamia. There we go. Goodbye. And go and get ourselves a Kelpie. Right, we know where Kelpie is because it's right next to our favorite spawn over here. Cool. Unfortunately, we do have to do another loading screen. But that's okay. We, we, we can cope. And it'll mean that when we're moving into the next area, we'll be moving in with all current demons caught. And we'll generally just be pretty strong. I wonder what percentage we're at right now. Must be like at least 40% or something. Might be higher. Who knows? Um, Kelpie. I remember Kelpie being a pain. But let's see. Uh, hey, Kelpie. Say, what are you doing here? Uh, looking for demonic allies? So you wanted to find me out here? I did. Aw, oh, lucky you. Well, bye now. Really? Okay. Oh, we're, we're so close to a level up for one of ours. All right, let's try this again. Two Kelpies, so if one leaves, we still got a chance. You know, your hair is like, actually pretty impressive. I know, right? I wish I had hair like yours. I'll just chop it all off and take it. What? Okay. Eh, you're not going to crit us. Right, tall. The demon is beckoning you closer. What will you do? Go closer. Huh, you're so honest about what you want. So how about it? Were you scared? I was happy. Huh? Why'd that make you happy? I was lonely. I see. Honestly, I'm lonely too. I'm so lonely and hungry and poor, so hurry up and give me something to help. Chunk of HP? Sure. Actually, just absolutely fine. Mac up? Sure. I was just checking that wasn't gonna screw us here. Yeah, you can have my MP as well. Mm, that's for something else. Three medicine? Very well. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to secure Kelpie. We probably could have said you'd had enough at that point, but um, I wanted to secure that we got it. Right. So now we head back here. We don't recover first because we want to go into well the shadows and purchase ourselves a Hellbiker. You can hear some more fantastic voice acting. If we don't, I'm just it's just gonna be disappointing, really. Special fusion. Hell Biker. Let's go. 
So he gets Hellburner, Heavy Fire Attack, Medium Force Attack, which also negates a uh, target's status on buff effects, and Heavy Physical Attack. They're pretty good as a start here. Inspiring Leader. XP earned increases when Demon's level is lower than the Nahabino. It will be. So that could actually be the right thing to choose. Alright. So all of these are AoE, right? Yes, we could try and give him some single target and that might be a way to... Yeah, we'll give him Berserker God for a single target. Give him a single tar... Well, he's also good at this. Maybe we'll give him Poison. Actually, no. No, we'll just give him Big Heal. Never mind. We'll just give him Lower Defense and then Inspirational Leader. Or Inspiring Leader. And then we can replace that with uh, this one immediately after. Yeah, that seems good. Right. Lore. A biker turned fiend that claims to come from hell, armed with an intense hatred of himself and the world, his reliance solely on his own power turned him into this abominable figure. Is this demon to your liking? Of course. Really did, I didn't have him making bike noises on my bingo card, but there you have it. Right. Do anything to register? Yeah, this seems Are fine. You ready? Right, we're actually at 38%. So when I said 40, that's we're actually pretty accurate for, for what percentage we're at of demons. Right, recovery. Yep, we have enough macro. That's fine. Cool. Right. And then, we're going to lay line crossing back over to Chioda. Right. All the way back over there. With our slightly stronger party. We also need to decide whether any of these people are actually getting to be in our party. It seems like Hellbiker should be. Hellbiker is so strong. It definitely seems like they should be in our party. Also, the uh, other one doesn't seem too bad either. Necessarily see like because I think they both of them are looking to take a uh, Zhao Chuten's uh, place here although he does have a defense up for the party which does make him slightly better than uh, some others it seems like both of these people are auditioning to be in our party you've got ice attacks the problem with ice attacks is you're kind of taking King Frost's thing especially as you have raised the attack of all allies and lower defense <laughs> you're actually like legitimately just King Frost then Hellbiker. I think you could take this role. However, we would be losing raised defense of all allies and lower attack. However, we don't really need those unless we're facing a boss. So Hellbiker, welcome to the squad. There we go. Um, yeah, and Hellbiker has some good skills that we want them to learn before we pass on. Yeah, like before we um, like fuse them into something else. So. Having him in the squad seems good. So there's our new squad. Us, Parvati, Hellbiker, King Frost. We have a very, very solid backline here. Like, some of the things that aren't in the main squad are actually, like, super strong as well. We're, we're doing a good job here, I think, with, um, like, a diverse party. There are some that definitely need to be, uh, like, out of the party. Like, um... If we look here, Loa is probably fallen off. Sirenoop, I think, unfortunately, has fallen off. Feng Huang should have been gone ages ago. Jatayu should be gone. Should be gone. Uh, yeah, those are kind of the ones I'm looking at. Satanta could probably go already, <laughs> even though Satanta's only been in our party for about ten seconds. But yeah, we got some work to do. Ooh, what's that over there? And what is that over there? Is that the next fiend, maybe? Yeah, that must be the next fiend. Huh. Interesting. Uh, anyway. I am going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.